Hi all, Balkans Shipyards, Pacific Pro, why not? Uh, so this is how you build this boat. Okay, uh, this is a, so the vodka is stitch and glue, one liter of epoxy did the whole vodka. Everything else, I did only the stitch and glue with epoxy. Everything else that's glued on has been glued on with PU, polyurethane uh, waterproof glue. Everything is just PU. Uh, that's the, that's my lee board. I got to go out and check it. Basically it falls and you can pull it this way, that way. You can stand it up, you can hold it on an angle, you can do whatever you want and you can lift it up. If you're running, you float inside the boat and you keep on going. Um, so let's just, uh, so here's dimensions. So that's seven, the whole boat is 4.7 meters long. Uh, it's uh, two pieces of plywood. Uh, four, four, uh, 2.4 and 2.4. Uh, basically this is, he has the, that, that, that's a sheet of ply, okay? That's a four by eight sheet of ply. And I get out uh, two top sides, that gives me one half of the boat and one bottom. So two sheets of this make the whole boat. All dimensions on the sheet. Um, the only dimension I don't really have is, is, is the rake, 25 plus minus. I wrote, you take it back 25. That's a full sheet of, that's eight foot and that's four foot, 240 by 120. And uh, so your bottom is 220 and according to the length of your bottom, you will find the rake of the stem. That's, that's the only thing I don't have. So basically, let's just go over it really quickly. Uh, the bow is 50 centimeters, it's a flat bottom, and it goes down to 35. The, the bottom is 37, 220 long, and it's offset to a quarter. So if that's your center line, so you offset it to a quarter, three quarters, and that's your bow, and from that you take a battens and you get your shape and you do all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's that, that's that. Bulkheads, bulkheads you put them in at 87 from the center on the windward side, 87 and on this on the leeward side 90. 90 comes in the bulkhead um, and basically you'll need a little bit more ply. Two sheets of that will build the vaca but then you'll need a few more pieces to do these two bulkheads. And then lashings go like that basically. Uh, so yeah, you'd, you'd have a piece of wood screwed in over here, and that piece of wood. External is 34, so what I'm saying is from external shear clamp to external shear clamp where the bulkheads come, it's 34 centimeters, so that's the, the max size, and then uh, all the rest you'll find by yourselves. Lashings, uh, th there should be another lashing over there, I didn't put it on, there's no reason to for now, I'm just going to... Gonna take the boat to pieces soon. Uh, cam cleats on the mast. Uh, we got two standard cleats. We got our endless line that goes around that pulls the rig falling off. Okay, everything is screwed on. All these pieces I go to the when I go sailing, I just take a driver with me. I run, run, run. I just put on screws and I get it all done up there. So 35 going up to 50 on a straight bottom. Okay, let's walk around and see what's happening over there. So basically, Akka is two and a half meter long. Um, I don't know, whatever you find, five by 10, two by four inches. This is a something like, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter. Um, Blaze it like that. That prevents Ama doing that. Uh, screw on a piece of wood between the Akkas. That prevents that uh, coming together. Uh, these guys are just made so simple. So, a thick piece of plywood cut round like the pipe, a piece of wood bolted and glued onto it, a piece of wood standing up, and then just two more pieces over here. One is here, and one comes from the other side. Slap two pieces of ply, PU, glue, screws, lash it on like this, lash it on like that. Where's it gonna go? You're not going out in a gale. Anyway, this is a three meter long PVC pipe, uh, 200 millimeters, that's the size of the pipe. And basically that's the boat, guys. I mean, uh, there's, uh, there's not too much technology in this thing. And this boat really sails well. I sailed it without a, 
without a lee board and I was making a lot of leeway but it was going to windward now with the lee board the clab claw was working straight into the wind it was unbelievable I, I was really enjoying uh, the clab claw the clab claw at 45 degrees off the wind it was drawing but I was just producing too much leeway too much leeway and that's basically the boat eh there you go why not with a question mark yeah okay endless line pulls leg falling aft we know that uh, this boy he's got uh, two lines that control him one line controls his falling aft so you can change your CLR if you're doing a lot of shunting you just put it smack in the middle and then that's tied like this like that and then the next two lines come from the top down and they hold him they hold his angle uh, let's just look around over here what else have I forgotten Mast step, as stupid as stupid can be, it's not going anywhere. Uh, screw, two screws, two screws, two screws. Yeah, got to add on lashings over here, the ones missing. Two lashings everywhere. And um, this is sheet, main sheet. So you just, uh, second lashing will come over there. So I just lash a block onto that. The other sheet's not rigged because it's pulling the rig out now, so it looks nice and fancy. So you've got two sheets coming from here. These are four meter spars and they are really pieces of shit. Uh, this is a piece of rubbish pine, I don't, know what, don't remember what it was. And the other one's a blanche. <laughs> Just a long straight blanche that I found that wasn't very really straight and I connected on a piece at the bottom and that's a plastic. This is a four, this is a six square meter cell roughly. And uh, the Vaca is 4.7 long. And uh, the vodka maybe weighs 20 kilos, maybe less. It's very light. This vodka is made out of 4 mil and 6 mil. I put 6 mil poplar ply on my lee side just because that's what I had. All the rest is 4 mil. The bottom is 4 mil. And, uh, and the windward uh, side is uh, 4 mil. Uh, shear clamps, put them in after. My shear clamps come up only to here because they're four meters long so they just come to here and then I put on external shear clamps and uh, so basically you stitch and glue the whole boat and then you put the shear clamps on, on a, with polyurethane glue use clamps, use screws, use whatever you want all screws over here are just standard galvanized whatever I sell on, this boat's made for lakes so I'm not uh, using anything fancy um, I've got two coats of acrylic primer on the outside Three coats, outside and inside two more coats, acrylic primer only.